Okay, now to get our characters to actually start going through their animation cycles, we're going to want to first decide which character we're dealing with and then uh, make sure the instance goes to the next frame. So I have this written out elsewhere, so let me copy it over and paste it in here. So what's going on here? This is the first line of new stuff. So if the character is zero or Keisha the girl, we're gonna take whatever index it was at that we decided in our creation expression and add one to it so it goes to the next one. Now if that index ever gets to fifteen or above, go back down to zero. That way, um she'll never jump to another character and like transform into you know the next guy for instance so and I just did that for every character if the character is one then you know add another one to whatever it was so it progresses in its animation and make sure that if it gets to the end of its cycle go to the first frame same with this character it gets to the end, set it to the first, and it's just going to keep doing that in a loop for every character. So you just have to make sure that you know the end frame and the beginning frame of all your characters, and to find that out, that's in your instancer. So if you select your instancer, and you go to the attribute editor for the instancer, this is over here at the left is where you get your numbers so like the zombie for example he starts at his first frame one is at 67 and his last frame is at 101 so if we select our particle make sure those numbers line up so if it ever gets to the end 101 set it back to the first frame 67 so now when we rewind we got moving people my frame rate's probably terrible so I'm going to hide the instance group which is about half a million polygons and that should speed things up now you can see even that though that these characters are the same see let's find a better example like right here these guys are the same but they're at different points in their animation even if they're born at the same time. See, she's going backwards, but she'll snap forward. It gets kind of tricky when things are born there. You haven't set up their values, so you can either do some fancy expressions where they grow on, basically, or you can just make sure you don't render any of the weird stuff.